Aquarius, this is your March tarot reading. It's coming from the mountains of Java, but this opening scene is of the Bangkok amulet market. Because I'm using an amulet just for luck in doing this reading for you. Well now, Aquarius, what's this all about? I, I think it's about love. I think it's about love. I can't be 100% certain, but I think it is. You look at the card, the top right-hand corner, the lovers. Well, it ends up with love, that's for sure. Well, probably. <laughs> Maybe not for sure. You look at the middle card, and that's the emperor. That's a strong father-like figure. Perhaps a little bit over-conservative. That's an energy that runs throughout it, so I need to keep that in mind. In a recent past, we have bottom bottom right, magician card. You've been manifesting something. Have you been manifesting love? Could be. Current energy is the four of, four of uh, pentacles. Unhealthy attitude towards money being somewhat miserly. Um, future, future energy is that of the king of swords. Uh, a wise person. You become wise. Are you wise because of the experience that you're having? Maybe. Uh, the energy impacting on the outcome is the Seven of Swords, which is a card of betrayal, trickery. Mm. And remember that the outcome is the Lover's card. Uh, does this mean that a past love, or, or probably a current love, and you end up with a new one, uh, cheated on you. It feels a bit that way. Um, the card that would change the impact is the Devil card, Unhealthy Attachments. If I'm right about it, you're still in love with this person, even though they've cheated on you, and you find it hard to leave them. As I say, the outcome is the Lover's card. Now, I think I've extrapolated far too much about this reading already. So let's l stay with me while we look at each card individually. This Emperor card is the overall energy that runs throughout the entire reading and therefore impacts on all the other energies. Uh, the Emperor is strong. The Emperor is wise. The Emperor is powerful. The Emperor is somewhat conservative. Uh, the Emperor is a father-like figure. The Emperor is somebody that people look up to. Now, given what we know about the other things that are going on, I wonder if you're a, this is a warning you're a little bit over-conservative in your relationships particularly love relationships. I mean, we honestly don't know at this stage. We've got to look at the other cards, but, you know, it does run through the other cards. You look at him, he does look powerful, doesn't he? But he, he does look that little bit over-conservative, over-tight over traditions even, yeah. In the recent past, we have the Magician card. You look at it, there's no mistake in this rendering as a magician, is it? He's got that Chris, which, you know, the magician's knife or sword, if you like. He's got a pentacle, he's got a chalice there. Uh, is he holding up a wand? I'm not certain. No, it, it, or maybe it is, maybe it is. It looks like a scroll of something, doesn't it? But there's no mistake in he's a magician. I, I, I sometimes, when I see this card, think that it is about magic. But I think we need to interpret this as, as um, manifesting. Maybe it doesn't even matter. Uh, because this is the past. And I think you probably were manifesting love. It could be money could be either at this stage but I think you were manifesting something I think you were probably successful uh, but as is so often the case with manifesting 
you get what you ask for and then you find out it isn't what you really wanted. And I've just got that distinct feeling about this reading. Your current energy is that of the Four of Pentacles. Which, well, look at it. He's, he's got his feet on those coins, hasn't he? He's holding onto that coin, a coin above his head. Yeah, he looks quite wealthy, you know. So it is a miserly attitude towards money. Unhealthy. Now, we are living in strange times. Could anyone blame you at the moment for feeling like that? Probably not. Probably not. Is it going to impact? on things later I don't think this energy would have appeared here if that wasn't for it or are you being a bit over conservative because remember we've got the Emperor card so are you being too conservative with your money and your investments almost certainly almost certainly that is going to have an impact on something later but I'm not sure how and what just yet but I'm certain that's important. Your energy is that of the King of Swords. Now, this is a wise king. Given it's the future, it, it suggests to me that you become wise. I mean, you look at him, you know, he's, he's sitting there in his throne, he's dressed beautifully, but he's got that sword stuck up like that it's like don't mess with me and I think it's don't mess with me because you have been messed with somebody's messed with you somebody's upset you and you know you're wiser now you know how to deal with it but it's as though the universe has somehow been teaching you a lesson that's what it feels like to me yeah I think you've been taught a lesson and I think it's to do with your attitudes towards money and your conser somewhat conservative attitudes. But we're still a little bit unsure what's going on here, Aquarius, really. Now, the energy impacting on the outcome is the Seven of Swords. This is a card of deception, a card of having the wool pulled over your eyes, a card of cheating. Cheating. Given that the outcome is the Lover's card, it suggests to me that a lover has cheated on you. A lover has cheated on you. That's what it feels like. I mean, you know, it could be another form of cheating because remember we've got that miserliness as somebody taking some money from you, possibly. Doesn't mean to say they get away with, the, with this deception. So that brings it back to feeling like, well, you know, maybe it is a lover cheating on you and you find out. They know they're doing wrong. You look at the card, he's looking, look behind him. And he hasn't taken all of the swords. Gosh, the more I look at it, the more it does feel like a lover cheating. It really does. But we're still not certain. We're still not certain. And now we have the devil card. Unhealthy attachment. And now we've already said you've got an unhealthy attachment towards money. However, given what we've just got with this deception and that the outcome is the lover's card, I think it's an unhealthy attachment towards the person who cheats on you. That's what it feels like. Because this card changes the outcome. So the, the outcome is the lover's, which suggests to me you find a new love. And this would mean that you hang around with the one that's cheated on you. Hang around with the one that's cheated on you. Yeah. You look at the card. It seems to me, you know, I mean, they're chained to that rock and the devil's on that rock. But it seems to me that those collars around their neck, they could easily take off. They could just slip them off. In fact, there's something rather sadomasochistic about the whole look of it, isn't it? 
I'm not suggesting that that's your attachment to the person who cheats on you. Uh, but it's something like that. You know, they rock your boat in some sort of way and you're blind to what they've done wrong. Yeah. And the outcome is the lover's card. Now, I've, I've said that a few times, but the outcome is the lover's card. So it does suggest a new love. It suggests a divine love. It suggests a wonderful love. It suggests that this is what is meant, what is meant to be. Um, you look at them; it's Adam and Eve, isn't it? You know, they're, they're in the Garden of Eden. There, uh, she's got apples round him. He's got these fig leaves to cover his modesty. Uh, there's an angel above their heads. The sun is beating down on them. <coughs> there's also that strange object, which is a gunungun which is a Wyang object in between them. It's three-sided, which means the known side, the unknown side, and the hidden side. Is that saying something? I'm not sure. I think we need quite a lot of clarity on this reading, because although I'm getting the feeling of it, I'd, I'd like to know more. I'd like to know more. And you know, while I think I know what's going on here, I'm going to take the unusual step of seeking clarity on two cards. The first is that Seven of Swords, which is a deception card. And the second is the Devil card. And the first card we get on the Seven of Swords is the Ace of Wands. So some information coming to light to you. Uh, the next one is the Knight of Cups, which suggests you're a fool for love. And finally, we have the um, Three of Swords, which means your heart is broken. And what about the attachments? Well, the first card is about... Um, it's, it's the Sun card saying that you had multiple blessings. Don't understand that at all. The next card is the Page of Wands, manifesting. So we come back to that manifesting. And the final card is the Emperor card. So some of those early cards that I thought were important are indeed important. But I can't quite work it out just yet. Let's look at these cards. And the first card of clarity, and remember this is on the Seven of uh, Swords, so the Deception card, is the Ace of Wands. So you just get clarity, you just find out what's been happening. So remember you're getting clarity on Deception, you catch them out. I'm pretty certain this is a lover that's been cheating on you, and you just you find out about it. It's as simple as that. Next card of clarity is the Knight of Cups. So this deception is about love because the Knight of Cups is all about love. The Knight of Cups is is wonderful, wonderful fellow that or, or female. You know, everybody loves them because they're full of love. They themselves are a bit prone to cheating, but they're also a fool for love. And I'm pretty certain it's you that gets cheated on. Simply because, you know, you, you, you're just so open, you're so lovable, you love everybody and everybody loves you, but you do get taken for a ride in terms of love. And that's what's happening here. And the final card of clarification on this deception card is the Three of Swords, which is heartbreak. So this heartbreak, this, this deception has broken your heart. Now, you know, I'm, I'm talking about it like it is definitely a lover that's cheated on you. And it all feels like that. But it could be somebody else who's very close to you. They might not have cheated on you. They've deceived you in some way. Uh, but the most likely is we're talking about a lover who's cheated on you. And it breaks your heart. It breaks your heart. The 
Now, do you remember the card of the past was a magician card and I said it was about manifesting. And I said I thought that your manifestations came true but they didn't turn out to be what you wanted. And we now have, in confirming the devil card, we have the sun card. This is what you manifested. This was your dreams and you got them. You know, you this is this is the universe saying, okay, if that's what you want, you can have it. And you got it. You got what you wanted. Now I think what you wanted was love. It might have been money as well. <coughs> and I think you got both. I don't think we need to look at the card because I think it, the, it's just about your dreams and you getting your dreams. But you got them. You got them. And this is your addiction. You're addicted to this dream, if you like. If the magician is a card of manifesting, it's often the card of manifestations actually working out. Uh, we now have the Page of Wands, which is more a card about manifestation, more about what it is you're manifesting, rather than whether it happens or not. It's this desire for something new. And so we're getting this as clarification of the Devil card. So it is saying to me, you got what you wanted, but it isn't what you wanted in the end. And you're addicted, as it were, to this ideal. But the ideal isn't working out. That's what it feels like. It's quite interesting. You know, that sort of hat, um, strange sort of hat. It's almost like a devil's horn on his hen head, isn't it? Hmm. Interesting. I remember the energy that runs throughout this is this Emperor card and we've got another one which I said was you being a little bit over conservative a little bit over control a little bit over controlling that's it I joked about S&M but I mean that could come back into it I think I'm still joking about S&M but you were a little bit controlling over this relationship Oh, of course, we've got the Four of Pentacles. You were over-controlling over money. You tried to control the money too much. And that's why it broke down. But, you know, you, you, you do love this person. But there's a new and better love coming for you, so, so don't, don't dwell on it. You do love this person. I think you've wrecked this relationship because you've been over-controlling. That's what it's telling us. Yeah. How sad, eh? Uh, but there is a new love coming and it's a great love. And, you know, yeah. In fact, you know, over-controlling, over-controlling the manifesting, over-controlling what you ask for from the universe, thinking that you can control things too much instead of putting yourself in the hands of the universal god that's it that's it yes it seems to me that man's greatest arrogance is a belief that he can control nature control his environment and March teaches you a lesson, Aquarius. That whilst you can attempt to do it, the universe will seek balance. And my God does it. You've manifested a situation. A situation that I think involves love. I think it also involves money. And you get it. But things aren't what they seem, and it's because you try and over-control it. You've tried to over-control everything that's happening, instead of relaxing and putting yourself in the hands of the universe. And I think that the love that you manifested uh, cheats on you. I think they cheat on you because of 
you've been over controlling, particularly in terms of money. You've, yeah, you've been over controlling in terms of money, and you find them out. This information comes to you, you find them out, and it breaks your heart because you thought you'd got everything you wanted. But clearly, things weren't quite as you thought. Uh, you're, you're something of a romantic fool, if the truth be known, Aquarius. So you, you, you're a sort of a dangerous mix of being a romantic fool, over-controlling and a little bit conservative. In fact, you're worse than that because you're addicted. You've got an unhealthy attachment, uh, both to money and to this person who cheats on you. And you find it difficult to leave them. You find it difficult to move on. Uh, but the universe is saying to you, look, you should have learned a lesson from this. That's, that's why it's happened to you, Aquarius. If you can relax and put your trust in the universe, put your trust in God, then things are going to work out better in the future. In fact, there's a new and divine love being sent to you. And, and you know, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. So why don't you just grab this new and divine love? Stop making the percent mistakes of the past. Stop trying to over-control things. Just relax and enjoy it.